Today's Ask Reddit post. What was the biggest surprise about the other gender that you never knew about? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. That your periods can last for multiple weeks of you are coming off birth control like WTF. My girlfriend here is bleeding for two weeks now, and doctors are just shrugging, like yeah it's a typical side effect crazy. That's awful. Not the same situation. But after having my second kid my period didn't come back until she was 14 months old and I bled for a month straight. My doctor was unbothered. But it sucked. Men's ball sack change depending on the temperature. Lol reminds me of my HS girlfriend, both virgins. We got to going at it and she was down there giving a BJ. She was super shy slash I fear about it, so the only way she could do it was, if she put a sheet slash towel slash blanket over my head, so I couldn't see her doing it. Now imagine you're getting a BJ. Then you hear a very concerned sounding OMG. Probably not something you want to hear. So I get a bit nervous and go, what? Something wrong? What is it? And I whip off the sheet. There she is with it in her hand and she goes I was sucking on it, and it started getting bigger. It grows. When I was a kid, diaper commercials all showed a hand pouring blue liquid into the diaper. Later, I saw a pad commercial that did the same thing. So for years, I thought women lost their bladder control once a month and had to wear many diapers. And also, women and babies pee blue. I thought women were using pads for urine when I was a kid. Because my parents deliberately told me so when I asked. Reminds me of when I got the intercourse talk. But my mom didn't tell me about jizz and said that the guy pees into the girl mayo. That men don't actually poop for an hour it's their getaway peace and quiet time. I was thinking every man had ibs. Then your legs fall asleep and you have to shuffle them on the floor to try and wake them up. When you get up you almost collapse because your legs went from the asleep phase into the weird and tingly phase. Maybe I just have bad circulation. I tend to rest my elbows on my knees a lot. I get it too. Super frequent. That a guy can accidentally sit on his balls. I assume they retracted. Eater, I saw it happen only once. Dude fell down hard after. Let's just say things were a bit lower than expected. When I first got with a girl lol. I tried going where I thought it was. You could almost park a truck between. Went for the belly button hop. When my wife said sometimes women don't want our problems fixed. We just want to vent about them. I think my brain broke in that moment. I still struggle with this one tbh. Just ask, is this a listening moment or an advice moment? And you'll find yourself a lot better off. My bestie is an engineer, and he wants to fix everything all the time. And this question has probably saved our friendship. Bonus is that he knows that he's helping by listening. You slash sequeet thinks that might also like it. Their peepees float. They do. Colon. Zero. We all float down here. You'll float. Two. I didn't know that peeing for men is so complicated. Apparently it can shoot in different directions and split streams. Why haven't there been more effective toilet slash urinal models? It can triple and quadruple stream too. Maybe the worst is pissing with a hard on that won't go away. Have to lean forward and balance on the wall and push your dick down. And hope you can bend it far enough to hit the bowl. But then you can't pee that well. Flex your thigh muscles as tight as you can. It magically changes your rogue tree into an easier thing to manage. Usually takes me about 45 to 60 seconds. The woman's clitoris gets an erection. The tip hardens. The hood retracts. The vagina dilates. And the secretions flow. Neat. I don't think writing romantic novels is for you. That the penis could possibly get stuck on the zipper. I'm so sorry fellas. The pain is indescribable. It bleeds quite a bit as well. When men are peeing and they see poop stains on the toilet they try to use the force of their pee to clean off the poop stains. My husband's biggest shock was he was using the women's restroom and asked through the stall what the little metal boxes by the toilet paper was for. A lot of places started putting the image of a fly in the urinals. 
guys will instinctively aim for it, so it keeps them from making a mess. Fun fact about that. There is a mathematical equation for deciding exactly where the fly goes to reduce splitter. Ladies can flex their lady parts, making it tighter or looser. That's how they steal your soul. Works every time. One still has my soul, and won't give it back. Tell her to give it back. I want it back. Urethra and vagina are two different holes. Wait till you learn about the butthole. Two. No way. Three holes. Honestly. I just found out that at 18. My husband was required to sign up for the draft when he got his driver's license. It was not optional for him. He had to be cause he is a man. I'm a male. I can confirm this is true. Yes. I felt every bit as uncomfortable. Controlled. Objectified. Trapped and powerless as you probably think. As a woman. I'm sorry you are obligated to sign your life away with the expectation that, because of your intercourse you should be required to assure our safety. I'm pro-military. But if equal rights means only one intercourse is required to sign draft papers that is not equal. I was shocked to find out that girls parts are at the bottom, and not in the front. I remember my first time reaching, with permission, and feeling around, and thinking holy poop there's nothing here. Normal? Not normal? Freak out. Exclamation mark. Act cool. Exclamation mark. As I was feeling around desperately for a straight minute she grabbed my arm, and pushed it downward, like I was an idiot sandwich. I spent the rest of the night in bed thinking about how sad it is, that girls can't pee on trees. They can pee on trees. They just have to turn around, and bend over a little. How men can move their dick on their own. Both genders have the same ability, to move their pelvic floor muscles, but for men it just makes their dick bound slash harden an erection, and for women it tightens the vaginal walls. I came here to learn, and I'm not disappointed. As a teen I didn't know guys have erections all the time throughout the day. You have no idea, and some of them are caused by absolutely nothing. It just pops up, and goes away in a few minutes. That's called the Hofner, hard on for no apparent reason. The testicles are just like constantly moving, and poop all on their own. So weird and fascinating. It's like having your own love lamp. This one got me good and no why, but I nearly choked on the bite I was taking. Well done. How much mental and physical effort women put into their personal security on a daily basis. They definitely catch feelings. Like really hard. Really really hard and fast. All my life I'd heard men were after intercourse, and I didn't even intercourse this man, and he was head over heels. He didn't even push for it, unless I wanted it. Complete shock. The amount of self control a man has to exert emotionally, because of backwards ass societal norms and the general fact, that you can't really be vulnerable until things progress a bit more than just a few weeks is insane. Men really don't get touch feely with their emotions in a healthy way so, when the right woman comes along that they feel, is the time to do so oh lord is it gonna be a ride and a half. I really feel bad for some women cause sometimes it's just a intercourse thing, but if the guy catches feelings she'll have to put him down in all the worst ways cause nothing is gonna stop those feelings. In high school it was always considered that guys are pervs because they only think about intercourse and do. Guys are gross because they masturbate. Then, at uni, the same people who said that suddenly started organizing those aperda parties to buy intercourse toys. We're all horny here, don't point your fingers at us. In high school I was at a party with about a dozen people and the topic of masturbation came up. I had previously had conversations with almost everyone there in which they brought up masturbation. I knew that everyone there had masturbated. And someone at the party suggested that anyone who had ever masturbated should raise their hand so we can talk more openly about it. I raised my hand. Obviously. Well wouldn't you know that every single guy, gal, and non-binary pal stared at me with their hands firmly at their sides. Most of them apologized privately afterwards for hanging me out to dry. I haven't let them live it down. Because they are all a bunch of liars. 
beauty standards were so ingrained in my culture that as a kid I thought women didn't grow armpit hair. We grow hair everywhere like men. Some women lighter some longer. It's either genetic or PCOS. Porn really ducked with my perception of body hair as a woman. I don't mean pubes etc. But like arm hair and but crack hair etc. All these women so smooth and I felt like a monkey. Turns out I'm normal. I was in my 20s when I found out some men actually want kids and want to be good fathers. Also that some want to be married and love their wives. I just grew up with family slash friends slash TV all saying how much men hate having wives and kids so fully believed that all men hated kids and marriage. I didn't know periods lasted for several days. I thought it was a one day thing. I duck in wish. Should be like a taking a good sneeze in the shower. Guys who date women don't all just exclusively like model types with Barbie faces and perky D cups. Browse the porn subreddits for like 10 minutes and you're gonna see the whole spectrum of humanity represented. Filth comes in all shapes and sizes and colors. It's a beautiful thing. I thought periods were like a slow faucet drip non-stop as opposed to start slash stop slash gushes. That feminine hygiene products are taxed extra as a luxury item in my state. That some girls are not aware they have a pee hole, it's not just girls. Ask just about any nurse that spent time working in a hospital unit with conscious patients. The sorry state of intercausal education in over half the United States leads to some adult women being totally unfamiliar with the form of their own anatomy. I recently discovered that an adult friend of our family, asterisk WHO has birthed a child, was ignorant of both the female urethra and clitoris in terms of location, form, and function. There are other issues in that case beyond a lack of intercourse education. But she confessed to my partner that she'd never had an orgasm in her life and never considered trying to reach climax via masturbation, intercourse, or foreplay. It was stunningly sad. I felt so stupid, but a guy used my friend's restroom. We were in high school and we realized it didn't have any toilet paper stocked. He came out completely fine and unbothered. My friend and I were so confused. We asked her mom why wouldn't he request toilet tissue and her mom stared at us before explaining guys don't absolutely need to use toilet tissue. You go helicopter. Mayo I'm sure I just laughed at this way harder than I should have but umph. For me it was the realization that women in the US experience fear far more often than men do. If you ask a man when was the last time they really felt afraid. They are likely going to tell you about a pretty important event, car accident or EMS, when they or a loved one ended up in the hospital, or maybe when they were mugged. If you ask a woman, they might tell you walking to their car after work yesterday, after some thought. It really soaked in about how drastically different their world experience must be on average, and what kind of impact that must have. Thank you for acknowledging this. Even worse is when we have men telling us that we shouldn't feel the way that we do or that we are letting fear dictate our lives. That the similarities vastly outweigh the differences. I was raised by TV and misconceptions, leading me to think that the other gender was this weird, alien, insane, unknowable thing that could almost never be passed. Turns out they are people too. Just like us. I mean. Estrogen and testosterone do do their things, but honestly that's just icing on a we're basically the same cake. It's a good thing to learn. I wish all people had this mindset. How squishy a soft penis is. I like playing with it when it's soft. Although it usually doesn't stay that way once I start playing haha. Unless he's very tired. But that's fine. Because then I get to play more. Close bracket. I used to do this thing with my ex-husband, where I would play with it soft, and then once it got hard I would bowing it with my nose like it was a spring it was so much fun. How much easier it is for a vagina to get infected in comparison to a penis, and how much they can smell during activities. Vaginas will have a different smell depending on the different parts of a woman's cycle and their hormone levels. Quite interesting really. 
women can have multiple orgasms during intercourse, while men have to recharge after one orgasm. And for me, it's easier to have an orgasm after I've already had one. Getting over that first one makes me sensitive enough to have even stronger ones. I always thought it was normal alone then partners didn't seem to know what to do with that. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. Because for me every orgasm after the first requires more effort with diminishing returns. Bodies are so bizarre. Really surprised me when I learned girls don't poop if they had buttholes. Why would guys be gay? Top 10 questions science can't answer. I was an anatomy and physiology lecturer in university for a few years so, despite being a guy, I know more than most about all things anatomy related. I kinda understand when guys don't know a lot about women's bodies but it never ceases to amaze me how little a lot of women know about their own body. I've had 22 year old women not have any idea why they bleed every month or that their period is in some way related to pregnancy. I knew a girl in the nursing program at my university who was shocked to learn she peed out of a different hole than her vagina. She was like 20 years old. She's a nurse now. Men's G-spot. I have tried to find it and have thus far been unsuccessful. Oops, it's in the bum. I didn't realize how toxic society is towards men showing emotion. I know it generally expects women to be the criers and men to be the stoic ones. But the amount of toxicity that's rained down on men if they cry is horrific. Yeah when you grow up with people saying poop like you can't cry and mourn your grandfather because your mom is sad and you need to be there for her. You kinda just don't do that emotions thing. I was told by one guy it's uncomfortable sleeping naked because private parts move around too much or an accidental knee from a partner or an accidental knee from a partner. What kind of pajamas is he sleeping in that can protect against that? Maybe he has codpiece jammies. So I worked as a cleaner at my old school for a while after leaving, and I was very surprised to discover that the girls changing rooms was more disgusting than the boys. I walked in there once and there were 5 dried bloody tampons splattered against the wall. I quit that day. Anyone who has worked retail can tell you that the worst fitting rooms by far are in junior girls departments. Teenage girls are absolute pigs. Men have mood swings. I accidentally though you said morning swings and thought that you think men just swing their penis around when they wake up with a morning boner. Lmao would be cool. How much different cum can taste based on man? With former FWB I wanted to throw up. With XBF it was totally okay. Like I wouldn't put that thing on top of my oatmeal. But I didn't mind having mouth full of it. Actually it was kinda pleasant. I didn't realize that guys really struggle with showing their emotions. Like. I tell my husband it's okay to get upset over things like I do. And he straight up tells me I don't know how to do that. Damn it society. Let men show and feel things. Not exactly about the other gender, but as a man. I'm still shocked. Surprised and disgusted about how awful women's healthcare is. And they pay luxury taxes period items. What the poop is that about? And how frequently doctors just duck them over or make their decisions based on a potential future man in their life. It's real ducked. Women do not fart rainbows. Yes we do. That most women have to concentrate to reach orgasm, while men have to concentrate to not have an orgasm. As a guy on SSRIs I now have to deeply concentrate in order to have an orgasm. I feel like I have a deeper connection to my partner now. And as weird as it sounds, it's improved my intercourse life. You not only managed to beat the odds of the side effects, but turned it into a superpower. Probably just how ducking terrifying women's existence is from fear of violence and intercordial assault all the time. Dave Chappelle, in one of his old shows summarized it extremely well. I used to do shows for drug dealers that wanted to clean their money up. One time I did a real good set, and these methodicus called me into the back room. They gave me $25. 
0.0000 and cash. I jumped on the subway and started heading towards Brooklyn at 1 o'clock in the morning. Never been that terrified in my life. I'd never in my life had something that somebody else would want. I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, if Mathurdikas knew how much money I had in this backpack, they'd kill me for it. Then I thought, holy poop, what if I had a pussy on me all the time? That's what women are dealing with. It's sad. But it's too true. I didn't realize how bad it was until talking with many women. There's also that historic Reddit thread where people asked women when they started getting male attraction and everyone watched in horror as the women in the thread responded ages severely too young. Essentially showing just how dark it is to be a young prepubescent girl. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.